A useful analogy to describe chromatography is to think of three groups of tourists arriving at an airport. In this case we have red, blue and green tourists. There happens to be seven red, nine blue and five green tourists. As everyone proceeds through the security checkpoint, the three groups are clustered together. There has been no separation yet. Everyone then jumps on the moving walkway and heads towards the plane. Now this is where the fun begins. There are shops along the moving walkway. And as the tourists are allowed to get off and on the moving walkway to do a little shopping. The shops in this case happen to be duty-free clothes shops. The thing is that each of the tourists like clothes shopping to different degrees. The red tourists aren't all that fussed with the shops, but spend a little time browsing. The green tourists, on the other hand, love the shops and spend heaps of time in there. The blue tourists, well, they're somewhere in between the red and the green. Hopefully you can see the similarity here to chromatography. The moving walkway is the mobile phase, and the shops, well, they're the stationary phase. The time the tourists spend in the shops determines how long it takes them before they get onto the plane. The flip side of all this is that all the tourists, regardless of which colour they are, spend equal amounts of time on the moving walkway. You can use your imagination here to think, how could we change the order of the tourists entering the plane? Well, say, instead of closed shops, we replace these with cafes. Now, the red tourists, well, they love a coffee. So they now spend much more time in the cafes and come out last. You can see what effect changing the stationary phase can have.